Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Cody. And we, we are, are the, the Dakota, Dakota Guys. Today's video is going to be about adventure. In our videos, we always end with telling you that life is the adventure that you make it. So go out and find one. Today, we're going to look at a place that's a result of a great adventure and, you know, really taking a lot of risks. This is a place called Eby's Landing. But, uh, Dad? What? What's an Eby? It's not what's an Eby, it's who. Our story starts with Isaac Eby in 1850. He came west from Missouri, exploring, finding new opportunities, eventually found his way here to Whidbey Island. And it was here that he settled and eventually sent for his family and started an all new life in a place that he called the nearest thing to paradise he'd ever seen. So once Isaac was settled here, he then sent for the rest of his family. He sent for his wife and children and he sent for his parents. Uh, matter of fact, this was his father's house, Jacob Eby. Still remains after all these years overlooking Isaac's land that he was farming just down below here. This is the blockhouse that they would use for protection during Native American raids, and uh, I understand was used on a few occasions. Hey, you know what? We should take a look inside. You know, Dad, Isaac reminds me of you. Really, in what way? Well, he came out here by himself to check out the island and see what it's like. He even said himself it's like paradise. Yeah, that's true. And eventually he brought his family out here. Well, you and Mom did the same thing. You two came out here to see what it's like. You even said it was almost like paradise. Yeah. And eventually you're going to bring the rest of our family out here with us. That's true. I guess he and I have a lot in common. I guess so. Let's just cool. hope you won't lose your mind. Well. He lost his head, but some people think I already lost my mind. That is true. So just as Isaac Eby and his family came to Whidbey Island, many others followed. And visitors would come from the mainland. They'd stay at the ferry house here as they came ashore at Eby's Landing. Today, Eby's Landing National Historic Reserve is still a popular destination for visitors from all over the world. People who come to find adventure, find relaxation, and just some good entertainment on the beaches and parks all throughout the reserve. Oh, I'm sorry, we, you can't be in here. Why? I don't have your leash. Hmm? Can I have this one? No! Why? Go back there. Okay. No, 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 no. Eby's Landing National Historic Reserve is unique among the National Park System's many locations. From one location, you can enjoy a full range of activities like hiking and biking, boating and camping. You can experience historic locations. You can join in numerous festivals throughout the year. And from this single place, you can experience prairies, rolling hills, forests, lakes, Pacific Ocean beaches, and views of two of the world's most beautiful mountain ranges, all within minutes of each other. It's time to find your park. Maybe it's Eby's Landing. Thanks for joining us on our latest exploration. Remember, life's the adventure that you make it, so go out and find it.
Why are you still here? The movie's over. Go home. Shoo. Shoo.